Also now at 11, home horror. Tonight, detectives are trying to figure out who stabbed a mom of five at her home in Pembroke Pines. Her children were inside. A 911 caller says it was the victim's husband, but he is not charged yet. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is live at the scene. And Larry, what's the latest there? Well, detectives want proof beyond a reasonable doubt before charging anyone. So they left that yellow crime tape up around the family house all day and all night. And I want you to notice those red uh, lights there. That's the back of a police vehicle. There's an officer babysitting this house overnight until detectives can come back and finish collecting evidence. Look. A crime scene unit spent over four hours tonight taking evidence out of this house, trying to figure out with certainty who attacked whom and why. Armed with flashlights, investigators huddled, then headed inside a rented Grand Palms home, where Pembroke Pines police earlier pulled five children away from a crime scene where a knife attack killed one parent and could keep them away from the other. She, ad she adored him, he adored her, they adored the kids, they all have the same common values so at least i couldn't see anything that would that would cause that peter robinson is the godfather to the couple's daughter he met both parents in south america in the 80s became close and when the family moved to south florida eight years ago robinson rented them his house in pembroke pines neighbors saw no signs of trouble they were a real role model family you know they were a real role model family very very close very protective of the kids, always wanted the best for the kids. Minutes after 6 Thursday morning, someone inside the house called 911. That person claimed the father attacked his wife with a knife, then locked himself inside the garage. Police say all five children, ages 3 to 16, were inside. SWAT officers barged into that garage. They grabbed the man hiding. Police saw him hurt bad enough to rush him to a hospital. Other officers rushed to get the kids out and help their mother, but she later died. If our officers didn't act as quickly as they did, um, the situation could have been far worse. And obviously all five children got out, of that, got out of that house unharmed. Police want to reunite the children with family members, but Robinson says he's the closest thing they have in America. My wife already said that if we, if, if let's say for some reason the parents can't take care of them, there's nobody else, we will take care of the kids. Because the two of us have that verbal understanding. Now it's up to police to explain what happened. They did not name a motive, and until they're certain beyond a reasonable doubt, detectives are saying little about their suspect. Tonight, police say all evidence is leading them toward a subject, but they are not comfortable yet saying they've made an arrest. But they also say they do not believe there is a suspect on the loose. Live in Pembroke Pines, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.